Open your QGIS for desktop. Go up to Raster and click on Raster Calculator. That's the tool we'll be using later in this tutorial. Click OK. Go to Add Raster Data and add your remote sensing satellite data file. This is a four band um, image. I'll demonstrate which band is which. A red and band, we'll go through some an infrared band. Right click on the imagery layer and go to properties. Go to style and then under red band, go to band three. Leave green band as band two and make the blue band band one. Click on mean plus or minus standard deviation and then click load. Click apply and then click OK. So that's changed the colors of the bands so you can see each one a little more clearly. Zoom into one of the cove areas and that's actually vegetated land that we'll be able to see more easily after we perform the NDVI calculation. Right click on your layer again and go to zoom to best scale so that zoomed it in to 100%. Right click, go to properties, go to style again. Under accuracy, click on actual and click load. Then click apply. Under color rendering, go to blending mode and make sure it's normal. In resampling, go to zoomed in and make sure it's nearest neighbor. Click OK. Zoom out a little bit, or zoom to the full extent. Right click your layer and go to properties. And let's change red band to band 5, green band to band 3, and click OK. Right click and go to properties again. Change the green band, or leave green band band 3. Change the blue band to band 2, and click OK. Right click again, go to properties, change the red band to band 3, change green band to band 2, and change the blue band to band 1, and click OK. Now we're back to where we started. Go up to web and go to quick map services, and open OSM standard. Zoom out so you can see which area of the lake we're working with. And it looks like we are working in Tanzania. Drag the OSM standard layer below the satellite image and you can see exactly where that satellite image is. Zoom back into the satellite image. Or you can right click on the layer and go to zoom to layer. Open your web browser and look at the Satellite Imaging Corporation page under Spectral Bands and take note of the NIR wavelength and the red wavelength. NIR is the near infrared wavelength. And then Google NDVI equation so you can get the equation that we're going to put into the raster calculator that involves that NIR number and the red number back to QGIS, go up to Raster and go to the Raster Calculator and double click on the band 5, click minus and then double click on band 3. Go over to Output Layer and we're going to save this as a file. Create a new folder called NDVI. And we're calling this file top because it's the top part of that equation that we looked up. Click OK. And there it is. 
the near infrared minus the red. Go back to your raster calculator, double click band 5, click plus, double click band 3, and title this output layer bottom and click OK and this that should save into the same folder that top was saved into. And there's the bottom of the equation that we looked up, near infrared plus the red layer. Go up to raster and go back to the raster calculator. Click on top and divide it by bottom. And save the output layer as NDVI. Click OK. That will calculate the normalized difference vegetation index. So there it is. You can turn off your original satellite layer and the top and bottom layers and just leave on NDVI and OSM standard. Right click on NDVI and go to properties. Change render type to single band pseudo color. In generate new color map, change the mode to equal interval and bump the classes up to 10. and click classify, then click apply. Your colors are red, yellow, green. Click OK. The green is showing where there's vegetation and the red is not vegetation. Zoom into that same cove we were looking at before. Turn on your original satellite layer and look at the difference between that and the NDVI layer. Go up to web and go to Open Layers Plugin and go to Bing Maps and Bing Aerial. And drag it below that NDVI layer. You can see that the vegetation in the satellite imagery matches up with the vegetation shown in the NDVI layer. Right click on the NDVI layer and go to zoom to layer and turn it off and then turn off the Bing Aerial. Uh, turn off all the satellite layers and just turn on the OSM standard layer and zoom in to one of the towns. Turn on Bing Aerial again so you can sort of see all the buildings and roads in the satellite imagery and then turn your NDVI layer back on and you can see that those roads and the buildings are all in red because they are not vegetated.